Oh yeah, it, it's uh, still immature, but you can see the kernels. There's one of these silks for every kernel in the uh, ear. So, you know, this is like half size, I guess, of what you would want. Um, with the cooling, when you when you make sure that you have a constant temperature, um, in that respect, you know, you get less uh, condensation, and it helps prolong the shelf life of the product. So that's what we strive for. You know, so I mean, it's it's a hundred degrees out today. So when they're harvesting, how how hot is that corn when it comes into the bin? But it'll be pretty hot, and it'll be in bins all stacked together. So it has the potential to build heat but what we do is we quickly take it to our facility which is you can see it from here and run it through a hydrocooler which is uh, like an icy shower if you can imagine taking a, like a 33 degree shower and then it goes into a, a cooler or onto a truck which is 34 degree cool is usually 34 33 degrees trucks in this type of weather what we do is we pre-cool the trucks before we start loading them so we can maintain a nice temperature yeah maintaining that temperature also helps keep the sugars in the plant too we still got a couple That's weeks yet yeah, but uh, by the time these are ready these and other fields the market ought to be pretty good Peppers, we uh, we start them in the greenhouse, then we'll transplant them.
usually they're in a greenhouse three weeks to a month depending again on weather and uh, usually from transplant to harvest is about another 50 55 days yeah. and like I said if you keep them weather crop rates and you keep up with uh, keeping the field nice you'll pick them to old frost I'm no blueberry picker, but aren't these ready to go? Wow, some of them? 